up, y'all? Swayze Sierra here. Today we are reviewing John Mazzoni's Specialized Epic World Cup. In the back, we have a 12-speed group set here, up to the seat post, S-Works Power Saddle, S-Works seat post. Moving down to suspension, we have 80 modes of travel here built into the frame, 34 tube chainring, XX group set, XTR SPD pedals. Moving up to the bars here, we got 760 bar length, ESI white grips, uh, level ultimate brakes, ram level. Uh, moving on to the red fork here, color match to the frame, 110 modes of travel. Um, then moving down to these orange and black i9s, Hydra hub built all around them, think wise. So the first thing I want to say about Specialized's brain technology, it is super still. As you can see in this clip here, John is going uphill and the suspension is barely flexing. This bike is real perplexing. John's riding a medium. This bike stock weighs around 20 to 21 pounds. It's super light, one of the lightest cross-country full suspension bikes on the market. With so much control and so many light parts, this bike is perfect for climbing. Specialized's brain technology has been in the game for a long time. It's super efficient and just to any terrain, as long as you're riding the bike intended what it's supposed to be for. Speaking of what it's supposed to be for, let's talk about some cross country downhill this bike is stiff uphill and it can also be stiff downhill what i mean by that is because of its rigid frame pivot it'll still get the job done when technical trails come but if you're looking for a soft squishy plush bike this bike might not be the one for you i only say that because the suspension technology works to keep things stiff and efficient not always taking up every single bump it's still fun though it's playful it feels like you got springs on your feet if you're addicted to hardtails this might be the one for me well i mean you let's not get freaky nasty now but that turn was amazing without further ado do let's talk about sprints this bike accelerates so fast it's like a rocket ship on wheels the speed limit says it's 20 but i clocked john going about 25 do you know what i mean you might be limited with a 32 or 34 2 chain ring but this is an xc world cup mountain bike when are you going to be on a flat road putting the power down for 20 miles if you want to train on this bike on flat ground and do crazy distances i can understand you're a crazy child because this bike is made for technical terrain recovering on turns and small straights but you know it when you put the power down on this bike it will always appreciate just look at john do this sprint in three two one go psych i was lying yo i just wanted y'all to see how efficient this bike is he's in the lowest gear right now or highest gear if you want to count from granny gear one to ten as the hardest i know for a fact that some of y'all do marathons and some of y'all do quick cross-country tracks where you do hella laps and you gotta go gap 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 passing people most importantly though i know i said something about flat ground this that and the other john does not have a lockout he has not locked out his bike Specialized suspension is so efficient that you cannot beat this. A lot of other cross-country bikes have lockouts because the suspension does move a tiny bit. This is not your everyday entry-level cross-country bike. If you want to buy an S-Works Epic World Cup, it's because you're fit and you want to win races. Look at John Sprint. Look at his form. That bike is not flexing. It is not the norm. If this was a race, John would be sprinting into a storm. Zoom, zoom, zoom. John is about to go to the moon with that small little chain ring. Do you see how fast he just accelerated? Oh my goodness. If you don't think this bike is fast, you must be constipated. So what are some things that you like and dislike about this bike? Uh, pros for sure are definitely uh, super choppy, super fast throughout the woods. Uh, out here in Florida, this thing flies. When you go up north though, that's where you kind of get those dislikes, those really mm -hmm. big choppy rocks kind of starts bouncing instead of floating over kind of thing. Ooh, like so, a pogo stick. Yeah, exactly. So that super choppy downhill is where this thing kind of slows down a little bit, but overall amazing bike. All right, I cut the clip. Yes. Oh my God. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> God. I just slipped and fell. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Today we. Why can't I say? Stop, stop recording. I'm just gonna practice. What's up, y'all? Sway Sierra. Today we. Oh my. <laughs>